What's up, Crimson Nation? I'm Connor Coyne, your host for Harvard's Top Plays of the Week, and welcome back to another episode. This week, I get the pleasure of talking with Alana Kaufman from the women's lacrosse team, so we're gonna get into it. Top plays, starting with number seven, men's lacrosse. Coming in at number seven, men's lacrosse. During the Harvard clearing attempt, Christian Bernard found himself with the ball, making his way up the field and noticed that the Bucknell goalie was vacant, nowhere to be found in the net. Do you know what he decided to do? He decided to rip a shot from the opposite retaining line. Crimson go on to win 13-8. And now number six, women's lacrosse. Late in the third quarter against Georgetown, junior Riley Campbell delivered a great high-low pass to Alana Kaufman. She decides to put it in the back of the net for her first goal of the season. Let's go chat with Alana right now. All right, I'm here with Alana. Alana, your goal made Harvard's top play of the week against Georgetown. <laughs> Talk to me about that game. Talk to me about that goal. Yeah, I mean, it was an awesome game. Obviously, we came out a little short. We lost by one, which was kind of tough. but. I thought our team really put out their best effort. Um, throughout the game, everyone really tried their hardest. We really implemented what we did throughout the week to prepare, and I think we're just really excited now as we get into Ivy play, so. I was gonna say, the season just started, so everybody's gotta be fired up. Like, what's yeah. the mentality like for the team for the season? Yeah, I mean, I think we're super excited. I think as we go on, again, as we get into Ivy play, I think we're just super, super excited to get back into things. Last year, we got into the tournament and we placed fourth, so I think this year we're just Super excited to build upon that and hopefully come out with the, the win. Jazz up and ready to go, Alana. Thank yeah. you so much. Appreciate it. Of course. It. Thank you. And now number five, men's ice hockey. Late in the third period against St. Lawrence, junior Sean Farrell finds himself with a penalty shot. He skates down the ice all alone, flicks a little wrister over the glove of the goaltending, ends up scoring. Crimson win over the Saints, 6-2. Sean Farrell now has the team best 47 points this season. Coming in at number four, men's track and field. Kenny Akeji shattered his school record and jumped into the nation's top 10 with his first throw from the Ivy League meet. After his last throw of 22.66 meters, he jumped to six in the nation, beating the rest of the competition by over two meters. Coming in at number three, women's track and field. They won the Ivy League championship by a large margin of 177 points from eight individual championship events. Notable events were the women's weight throw where they swept the podium. Maya Ramsden won two events with the 1,000 meter and the one mile run, and the women's 4x400 team winning by almost 100 meters. Coming in at number two, men's swimming and diving. Harvard's 200 freestyle relay team set a new meet and pool record and an NCAA A cut time of 1 minute, 16 seconds, 54 milliseconds to become Ivy League champions. This event was one of eight titles for the Crimson as it secured its sixth consecutive Ivy League crown. And now number one, men's squash. Up 2-1 facing match ball in their fourth game, Tarek receives a serve from his Trinity opponent and the two get into a rally. In an attempt to get an unreachable shot, Tarek's opponent hit the ball off the board, actually awarding Tarek the match point to give Harvard Crimson its fourth consecutive national championship. And that's it for your Harvard Top Plays of the Week. I'm your host, Connor Coyne. You know the drill. I don't even have to tell you. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You'll see us there. And as always, you know the deal. Go Crimson.